Hey guys, welcome to Tech Guru. So today I have a really, 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 really cool application to show you guys. So basically this application allows you to install Google Assistant on your Windows 10 or Mac or Linux machine. So really cool application, it's super cool. And if you've ever wanted Google Assistant on your PC and you're interested in getting it, this is the perfect video for you and the perfect application for you. So if you're interested in this, please continue to watch. And if you'd like to see more videos, be sure to subscribe. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first of all, just go ahead and open up your preferred browser of choice. So I'm just gonna use Microsoft Edge. Once you're on Google or whatever like search engine you prefer, just search for Google Assistant Windows 10 GitHub. Just go ahead and click the first link by Melvin Abraham. It's an amazing like application basically, and it's really easy to use. And it has a well-documented guide basically and it'll get you through on how to set it up really, really easily. So basically just here talk. So if you've used GitHub before, you, pro you might be able to figure out how to set it up yourself. Otherwise you can continue on with the guide that they've included. And you can also just continue on with this video. So it says how the inspiration came. Obviously it came from Google Chrome OS and it's available in light mode and dark mode for people who are interested into that. So obviously you can keep reading on and see what about it, more information and stuff. And this is under development. So if you find bugs and stuff, you know, it's not official. It's not by Google. So don't expect it to be perfect, but it's like, it's one of the best options right now for Google Assistant on your PC. And it actually works surprisingly well. So well that, I mean, I, I like, I couldn't really tell the difference between it. It felt so smooth and it worked so well for me that it's just, I had to show you guys. It's like really, really cool. So without further ado, you just, if you guys want to do a regular build, you can just choose that. But if you go down over here, you can see that there's a much easier way to install it. So just go ahead and follow through with what I, what I did basically. Once you get over onto the site, it'll talk more information about the application, the latest release version. Just go ahead and choose the installation setup that you want. So I'm just going to choose the regular Google Assistant setup file.exe. And then once you click on that, it's just going to ask you to either open it or save it. So I'm just going to click open. It will take a little bit of time as it's obviously that ha it has to download it first. And it's not like a massive file, but GitHub servers are going a little slow right now for some reason. So it was taking quite a long time, but it shouldn't take too long and should be done within a minute or two minutes max. So once that's done, it'll basically guide you through the setup. And then it'll basically once you have the app basically set up and the app installed, you actually have to get a code and like you have to authenticate it basically as a device. So it will basically use the Google Assistant API that Google has created, the open source API basically, and it will it allows you to really do a lot with it and use this application to its like full benefit. It's a really cool application here. You can see it talks more about its features, how it's now available for Linux, uh, sorry, Linux and Mac OS also beside Windows. Windows has been supported since this this application's original like birth basically so you can continue to read on about the application and new features they constantly are updating and bringing new features the last update was october 11 so we might have an update coming soon and it might be getting even better but i tried it and it already works so well that i don't even see like what they have to bring new like it works as well as it does on other like google assistant devices that i have such as my phone or like even on a TV, you know, it allows you to control a lot of stuff and it offers a lot of the same functions that Google Assistant on other devices does also. So here it also talks about all the getting started stuff and how you can actually set it up. So once that's basically done installing the installer, it's just going to ask you where you want to install it and like for who you want to install it. So I'm just going to choose only for my user as there is only one user on my account or on my PC. Then you can just go ahead and choose the destination folder where you'd like it to be basically installed. And then just go ahead and click next and it'll automatically start installing. This part will not take very long, but after this, there is quite a long part. And there is a guide that the, uh, basically the creator of this has included. And I highly recommend you guys to follow through the guide. I would show you guys, but it has a little bit of stuff that I can't really show you. So without that, I won't really be able to show you that, but just follow through the guide and you should be able to get through it. If you need any help, I'll be happy to help. But there is some stuff that like maybe you might not want to show as it talks about like project folders and stuff so you might be able to see like what somebody else is for so i don't really want to give access to that so to make it easier for you guys so i just highly recommend following the guide i i was able to do it within 20 minutes so it shouldn't take you too long to set up once you basically get it set up you just want to click the windows button shift and then s 
or sorry, Windows button and Shift and A, and it'll basically open it up and it'll tell you that you don't have the authentication file. So it'll basically tell you at that point how you can actually get it set up. And basically, if you see on the bottom, it'll say how to register your device, check out this wiki, just go ahead and click that button. And it'll basically open a basically a link where it'll show you the whole guide and you just need to follow that guide. If you follow it correctly, it shouldn't take, it shouldn't take too, too long, but it took me about like 15, 20 minutes to do. So it might take a little bit of a while, but once you're done it, you'll be amazed by how amazing it actually is. So I'll quickly show you guys like just the guide. So this is actually the guide itself and it shows you. So just go through this whole guide, the device registration and new project basically, and I'll tell you how to get that working. This is it actually completed. So I've actually finally finished installing it. I've got everything working. And then it basically opens up like this once you have it all authenticated. So I can ask it anything like what's 10 plus 10 and it'll answer 20 obviously like a Google Assistant would or any, any assistant really would do this. But then you can also just tell it like other stuff. So I'm gonna tell it now to remind me to do something. So like you can remind me to do like anything. So just like you could on any other Google Assistant device, you can actually do the same stuff. So if I just say remind me to create a new video for this week, basically for it will obviously like anytime if you just tell it a reminder, it will tell you what time. So just specify a time and it has continuous conversation just like other Google devices. So, and there you go. You can see that the reminder is now set. So really cool, epic application. And I highly recommend checking it out. So if you guys are interested in that, please be sure to check it out. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. And yeah, that's it for today.